Okay, tell me what happened. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake? Your friend? You subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. A pair of oxen boxing in a rowboat. Good, okay. Now, how about this one? A bunch of bacteria playing basketball. And this? Coded love notes from space aliens. Alien love notes. Interesting. Now this one. What do you see? Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? A debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Your responses are kind of all over the map. I can't tell a whole lot from them. Sorry. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with fame. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Calorie consciousness. I thought you might say something like that. I'm getting good at this. Fluoride. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Travesty. Interesting. Teasing. Sidewinder. I see. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this?
my Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one, what do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? A debit card fed through a document shredder. You seem fairly focused on money, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with fame. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun! Ready? Ready as a rooster taking a bath in barbecue sauce. Interesting choice of words. How about pastiche? <laughs> That's not a word, is it? Eucalyptus. What an unusual response! Polish! Frozen concentrated orange juice. Mm-hmm. Shampoo. Aquamarine. Really? Interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? An autograph written in Braille. Now this one, what do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. That's one of the indicators of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun! Ready? Yep. Credo. Travesty. I thought you might say something like that. I'm getting good at this. Filling. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Your sign is crooked. You ought to straighten it. Subject exhibits proclivities for order upon hearing trigger word. Possible OCD. Tint. Can we look at some pictures? Subject shows preference for inkblot test while undergoing free association test. Possible ergonomic schism. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. 
Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun! Ready? Yep. Proliferation. Sidewinder. Interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Comb. I feel strangely like punching something. Really? Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to hairstyling. You should see him at the podiatrist's. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. Wow! It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. The form only fits in the slot at Brady Culture's home. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry.
This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lawn Cheney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass-hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever! How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch-rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no! What are you doing? I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along! I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. Hey, my beloved weapons are gone. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos.
too far. I must deliver videos. Oh, don't even try. I love that part. Uh-oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become Video Delivery Man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam. I'm up here. Oh. Hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. I will be number one in the ratings. Now, and thanks to Cable, for all eternity. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm right back where I started! Okay, hold on. I'll get you. Brady's stolen Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute little tail. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer. Ooh, just let me at him. Whee! Whoa, gotcha. Yay! Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh, my. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. <laughs> Shooting TV stars only makes them stronger. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. I will be universally loved by everyone. It's just a dream, Sam. What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Brady culture has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? You want to name every single one of your ch- Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. No! And another one bites the cheese. It's Brady culture in a light socket? The light bulb represents wisdom, and here's a little now. Brady culture is a perfect 10.
Dance, puppet, dance. I love my hair, and you do too. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Oh, uh. Oh, no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy! Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. I, Bo Man. Huh, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams? Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something. Quick! Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud! There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. I'm not going back to that asylum until I've got a working defense against that dastardly hypnotic ray. Doc, Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Max isn't going to like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible.
Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colander of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. I'm coming, Max. Rule number three. Always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you, and this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! <laughs> you okay, little buddy? Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog. Ouch. Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's that supposed to be? Stop this foolishness. Attack the dog. <laughs> attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog. Ow. Become videotapes. Black wits, attack the dog. Ah. Worship yourselves. Boneheads, attack the dog. Ouch. Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. Attack me. No, me, attack me, 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 me. Yes. Oops, no, wait, I mean. Oh. Smart hey, move, hey. Sam. You played him oh. like a $2 glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. 
Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason.